at the Holy Cross Ranger Station near Minturn. We're super excited to have this here at our local site. U.S. Forest Service Snow Ranger Cal Orlowski's picked the perfect time. The timing is perfect. To set up a new avalanche training park where people can practice Series, backcountry uh, rescue skills. Test to make sure everything's working. Like probably. locating avalanche beacons. 1.3, 1.2. Yeah, right yeah. on top of it. And getting them out of the snow. Come practice your skills, uh, really dial in your avalanche rescue skills from your beacon search to your probing skills, and even some shoveling. Important techniques at a time when ski areas are reducing capacity due to health guidelines, which has pushed more people into the backcountry. Already seeing with reservation systems at ski areas uh, that a lot of people are wanting to go hike. All while recent snow has caused a spike in backcountry avalanches. And now we've gone into a kind of an active snow pattern. We're getting all the snow falling and it's falling on that very weak foundation. With the Colorado Avalanche Information Center reporting more than 70 human triggered slides in six days. We're seeing a lot of avalanches. In the last six days, we've seen 74 human triggered avalanches and over 200 natural avalanches. You flip this one on. It's why Cal says we found it. this is the right time to dial in those rescue skills that could just save someone's life. Saving lives in the case of an avalanche. Pretty important work. That uh, avalanche training park here at the uh, Holy Cross Ranger Station, just a slight hike up the hill from the parking lot here. It's open 24 seven for the public to come and use. And it's very similar to ones that have been set up at ski areas, only this one in a very active spot where a lot of people stage from to head off into the back country. So Becky, hopefully it will get a lot of use, especially as we start to get into that active snow cycle. And it sounds like more snow is still on the way. It is, and you know, it's really interesting because I, I know I personally don't start thinking about avalanche danger until we start seeing those really heavy snows over over the mountains. So, Matt, really interesting to hear that we have seen such an uptick in those natural avalanches and even the human-caused ones with these smaller storms that have moved through. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's a very interesting time, and it just shows that in Colorado, we can have potential for avalanches anytime. It doesn't take a lot to get a person into trouble, and it really comes down to that weak layer from that lack of snow early season that's sitting there, and now all this snow going on top of it. Yeah, good.